Hi everyone, hope you are doing fantastic today. In this short video, I just want to make a, a very important notification to you regarding your Office 2016 software and your Office 365 account. So you probably noticed here recently that there is a new setting or new feature that's applied to your Office 2016 software suite. This applies to Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, all of those applications will have this new feature that's rolled out to it. If you do not like, and essentially what this is, you'll see in the upper left hand corner the word or text autosave, and you'll see this little toggle. It's on, it's currently on right now. You can also see that there's this little drop down here that says automatically saving. You do not have to worry about clicking save anymore. Use undo or version history to revert unwanted edits. So if you do not want the text to automatically save on the fly and overwrite your document, essentially what's going to happen is, let me go to the end here, and let me paste the text. You'll see right up here it says saving, and here in just a minute it should say saved. However, what this is going to do is it automatically saves the text as you edit, as you type, as you do anything to the document. It's automatically go going to save it, so you no longer have to press Control S or click on the little floppy disk here to save, or whenever you exit exit out. It'll uh, no longer prompt you to save because this feature is already now embedded. So you can see now that it has saved to my OneDrive. I'll also point out that this only does apply to the documents that are stored in your OneDrive. So if you're working on a, a file that's located in another folder that's maybe on your hard drive or on your desktop and not in OneDrive, this feature does not apply. It must be in OneDrive to work. So if you don't like that, you know, I like to open up files. I like to save them as different file names and whatnot, kind of do the template method. I really don't like this feature or setting. It could go, it could come in handy on certain documents, but the majority of what I do, I really don't need that. So I would want to turn this off. So this only applies to the individual document. So I can go ahead and click to turn off see here now that it says or it did say changes are saved there they will no longer be uh, automatically saved through the autosave feature now this only applies to this specific document that is in OneDrive so if you want to turn it off for all of the documents and this does only apply to Word so you will need to do this on your spreadsheets as well so in Excel you will also need to do this we'll take a look at that in a second what you want to do is go to file click on file then go down to options click on options and when your options window opens click on save here in the side panel and right here where it says autosave OneDrive and SharePoint online files by default on Word. Just uncheck that and that will apply that to any document that is opened up in Word on the computer that you're using. So if you have a secondary computer, maybe you're on your desktop applying this, that does not transfer to your laptop. So you'll need to also do it to the laptop. So click OK, then that essentially will be turned off. Next, if we open, let's go ahead and open Excel. And when we do that, the same location you will want to go to to turn that feature off as well. So if we click on Open Other Workbooks, once we have Excel open, click on that. And once again, go to Options. Once again, your Excel Options menu opens click on save and uncheck 
autosave OneDrive and SharePoint Online files by default on Excel. We'll want to save that and simply do this for your PowerPoint presentations if that's how you want it to apply to it as well and any of the other Microsoft applications that you use. Once again, they will need to be located in your OneDrive for this feature to be turned on and for it to fully work and apply to your documents or spreadsheets and whatnot. Well, I hope this video has helped you and I hope you haven't had too many frustrating moments with this new feature being automatically applied to your account. So keep an eye out for it. Turn it off if you need to or if you like the way that the feature is working, please keep it enabled. You can always reach out to us if you need any help. Thank you very much. Have a great day.